While the Steve Jobs movie did terribly, you probably missed the new Fusion reactor design, tech for your guitar jam session, and sonar to look for freaking Egyptian tombs, people! Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where I've dreamed of becoming an archaeologist my entire life. Certain death be damned. Holy Indiana! It's not too late to chuck it all and head for Egypt, where a bunch of scientists are launching a new project to scan the pyramids for more secrets. Apparently, a new kind of sonar using infrared scanners and cosmic ray detectors will be used to map the interior of several pyramids to look for all kinds of hidden info, like how they were built. And of course, the location of new tombs. Project Scan Pyramids is being led by Egypt's Antiquity Ministry, but experts from Japan, France, and Canada are part of it too. We have people using robots inside the pyramid. We, are, we will going to try to use new technology also, the cutting edge technology, the best technology of today, but we are not sure that we will succeed. This is science, and we need to be humble about that. By humble, I think he means freaking stoked. Unless, of course, this happens down there. Since you got kicked out of your drum circle for saying Hatha Yoga is for people who are just not ready for Ashtanga, so true. You've been looking for a new way to jam in solitude. A German percussive guitarist and electronic musician teamed up with some genius Indian engineers to create ACPAD. The slim wireless MIDI controller sticks to the front of a guitar and features pressure-sensitive contacts that wirelessly connect with a computer. So while you're laying down some sweet riffs, you can trigger and tweak effects or pre-recorded samples on the ActPad's eight customizable touchpads, 10 preset buttons, two looper channels, and two slide faders, looping your way to higher consciousness of musical righteousness just like our future gods. Party on, dude. Scientists at the Max Planck Institute are preparing to boot up a new, arguably safer alternative to the traditional tokamak fusion reactor design. The standard design is usually shaped like a donut, but very, very bad things can happen if the field containing the plasma should fail or be interrupted. That's why the new Wendelstein 7X isn't shaped like your ordinary sugar-dusted breakfast. It's more Kruller-like. By adding this special twist, researchers believe the new design should be significantly safer to operate than older models and would do a lot to get fusion reactors to produce more energy than they consume. The W7X could be up and running as soon as November if Germans approve its use. Ooh, pure genius. And finally, become an unstoppable ping pong player or table tennis, I'm not trying to get you angry, with this ping pong cannon that shoots out balls at nearly half the speed of sound. As you can see, you can't see it. 